I think everything George did, including the songs that he wrote that, that, that didn't have spiritual words directly in them, were spiritual, and that that was always on his mind. Even the song Something, that, that is, is considered a, one of the greatest love songs ever written, I think Frank Sinatra said that, can, can be seen as a love song to God. What about the music makes it spiritual, aside from the words? I think what, the thing about the, the music that makes it spiritual is, is the person who is singing it, namely George that he, he wanted to be spiritual, he had a spiritual dimension to him, he was known to be involved in spirituality. Mantra, as we know it in English, means some, some phrase that's repeated again and again. Actually, mantra is a Sanskrit word originally. It meant a sacred chant to, and, and this maha mantra, maha means great in Sanskrit, it means a great chant for deliverance. 1966, I had gone to San Francisco and I had heard that the devotees had recorded a, a, a record at that time. I had also heard that the Beatles had ordered 300 copies of that LP, 33 and a third LP vinyl recording. And it was the kind of thing where it just sort of passed that, okay, the Beatles got 300 copies, so after, after about a week we just f sort of forgot about it. But I found out later that uh, George had gotten that record himself and uh, he and John had chanted the Hare Krishna mantra in the, in, while sailing somewhere in the Mediterranean Sea so, for so long that he said that his jaws were aching. I, I think that chanting helped George a lot overcome feelings of distress and anger. He once said to me, George once said that, that once you start chanting you don't want to stop. I think that he was very attached to the chanting and also to, to uh, people like myself who were of his age and who were on a spiritual path. Sometimes I called him a closet Krishna because he didn't shave his head, he didn't wear robes. <laughs>